Welcome to Adventist Angels Watch Morning Radio. 1 Timothy chapter 4 verses 12. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Let ye, let the youth take the Bible as their guide, and stand like a rock for principle, and they can aspire to any height of attainment. Signs of the Times, number 9, 18, 19, 1889. The Bible teaches that men to act from principle and whenever we successfully resist evil influences, we are strengthening, we are strengthening that principle which has been assailed. The mere possession of talent is no guarantee of usefulness or happiness in life. Right principles are the only basis of true success. The Review and Error, 18, Every act of life is great for good or evil and it is only by acting upon principle in the test of daily life that we acquire power to stand firm and faithful in the most dangerous and difficult positions. Health Reformer Pursue a straightforward course. Life Sketches of RNG White, page 335. Pursue a straightforward course. The young must be taught to think and to act from conscious principle. Christian Education, page 34. Men and women who come upon the, st the stage of action with the firm principles will be fitted to stand and sold amid the moral position of the corrupt age. Testimonies for the Church, volume 3, page 563. Nothing with which we are all we have to do is really small. Every action is of some account, either on the side of right or on the side of wrong. It is only by exercising principle in the small transaction of ordinary life that we are tested and our characters formed. The mind must be trained through daily test to habits of fidelity, to a sense of uh, claims of right and duty above inclination and pleasure. Testimonies for the Church, Volume 3, page 22. Teachers and students are constantly at the work, weaving the web of their eternal destiny. Every time the shuttle passes, it draws after it a thread which is fastened to right principles and holy actions, or the opposite. Students may have fastened to their threads that which is not profitable for their future life, and the published testimony. Every art will be tested, every character developed. It is principle that God's people must act upon. The living principle must be carried out in the life. Testimonies for the Church, Volume 1, page 222. Selfish, cheap ideas, retro mean advantages should not be allowed to steal in and mar the nobility or the principles that should control all the proceedings in the temporal matters and published testimony. The youth may have principles so firm that the most powerful temptations of Satan will not draw them away from their origins. Testimonies for the Church, Volume 3, page 472. What is the principle that is to characterize the life? Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are the God is, and the published testimony. By conforming entirely to the will of God, we shall be placed upon with vantage ground and shall see the necessity of a decided separation from the customs and the practices of the world. Testimonies for the Church, Volume 6, page 146. When those who confess the name of Christ shall practice the principles of the golden rule, the same power will attain to the gospel as in apostolic times. The thoughts from the mountains of pricing page 181. Love must be the principle of action. Christ's Object Lesson, Lessons, page 49. Joseph Paul alike the test of adversity and prosperity. Education, page 52. Let everyone who claims to be a child of the heavenly king seek constantly to respect uh, to represent the principles of the kingdom of God. Testimonies for the Church, Volume 6, 
page 189. Many of the youth of this generation, in the midst of churches, religious institutions, and professed Christian homes, are choosing the path to destruction. Testimonies for the Church, volume 6, page 254. Purposefulness for the youth. But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Daniel 1, page 8. Daniel chapter 1, verses 8. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 16. A man's gift maketh room for him, and bringeth him before great men. High and holy must be the purpose of everyone who obtains the character, or must obtain to win or must obtain to win the crown of everlasting life. Signs of the Times, June 20, 1900. Men desire the good, they make some effort to obtain it, but they do not choose it. They have not a settled purpose to secure it at the cost of all things. Those for the Mount of Blessings, page 191. Remember that you will never reach a higher standard than you are self set. Then set your mark high and step by step, even though it be by painful effort, by self denial and sacrifice, ascend the whole length of the rudder of progress. Let nothing hinder you. Faith has not woven its meshes about any human being so firmly that he need, he need remain helpless and in uncertainty. Opposing circumstances should create a firm determination to overcome them. The breaking down of one barrier will give greater purity and the courage to go forward. Press with the determination in the right direction and the circumstances will be your helpers, not your hindrances. Crisis Object Lessons, page 331-332 Only let the truth of this time be cordially received and become the basis of character, and it will produce steadfastness of purpose which the allurements of pleasure, the fickleness of custom, the contempt of the world loving, and the artist's clamors for self-indulgence are powerless to influence. Testimonies for the Church, Volume 5, page 13. Trust in God and seek to move from principle, seek to move from principle, strengthened and ennobled by high resolve and the determination of purpose found only in God. Testimonies for the Church, Volume 2, page 313. It is spirit of art, singleness of purpose, that constitutes the true value of human beings. The Review and Error, October 6, 1891. He uses his gifts, uh, best who seeks by earnestness endeavor to carry out the Lord's great plan for the uplifting of humanity. Remembering always that he must be a learner as well as an, an instructor or the teacher. The Youth is Instructor, December 11, 1902. From Jesus' earliest years, he was possessed of one purpose. He lived to bless others. The Desire of Ages, page 70. The heaven appointed the purpose of uh, giving the gospel to the world in this generation is the noblest that can appeal to any human being. The whole world is opening to the gospel. Education, page 262. You may cultivate your powers to do the best service, the very best of service, and then you will find yourself in demand anywhere. You will be appreciated for what you are worthy. Special testimony. Reading. Reading is that read it. President is he that read it and they that hear the words of this prophecy. And keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Revelation chapter 1, verses 3. First Peter chapter 4, verses 7. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore of sound mind, and be sober unto prayer. In God's word is found wisdom, and unquestionable, inexhaustible wisdom that originated not in the finite, but in the infinite mind. Testimonies for the church. Volume 6, page 132. There is nothing more calculated to strengthen the intellect than the study of the scriptures. No other book is so potent to elevate the thoughts, to give vigor, 
to the faculties as the broad and opening truths of the Bible. If God's word was studied as it should be, men should, should or would have a credit of mind, a spirit of character, and a spirit of purpose that is rarely seen in these times we are living. Steps to Christ, page 113. The mind occupied by commonplace matters only becomes dwarfed and enfeebled. If never tasked to comprehend grand and far-reaching truths, it after a time loses the power of growth. As a means of intellectual training, the Bible is more effective than another book or other books combined. Education, page 124. The special effort of ministers and of workers all through our ranks for this time should be to turn away the attention of the youth from all exciting stories to the sure word of prophecy. The attention of every soul striving for eternal life should center in the Bible. Testimonies for the Church, Volume 5, page 519. If you should read with the one object in view to improve the mind, and should read only as much as the mind could comprehend and digest, and should patiently persevere in such a course of reading, good results could be accomplished. Testimonies for the Church, Volume 3, page 465. Chasing through books superficially crocks the mind and causes you to become a mental dyspeptic. dyspeptic. Mm. Testimonies for the Church, Volume 3, page 465. To those, those who have indulged the habit of racing through exciting stories are crippling their mental strength and disqualifying themselves for vigorous thought and research. There are men and women now in the decline of life who have never recovered from the effects of intemperate reading, nor is the fiscal effect less disastrous. The nervous system is unnecessarily taxed by this passion for reading. In some cases, youth and even those of mature age have been afflicted with paralysis from no other cause than excess in reading. The mind was kept under constant excitement until the delicate machinery of the brain becomes so weakened that it could not act and Paralysis was the result. Christian Education, page 186 and 187. Intemperate habits of reading exert a pernicious influence upon the brain, as a, as a uh, result, as sure as it does intemperance in eating and reading. Sorry, intemperate habits of reading exert a pernicious influence upon the brain, as sure as it does intemperance in eating and drinking. Christian Education, page 188. There are men of our youth whom God has endowed with superior capabilities. He has given them the best, the very best of talents, but their powers have been enervated, their minds confused and enfeebled, and for years they have made no growth in the grace and in knowledge of the reasons of our faith, because they have gratified a test for story reading. They have as much difficulty to control the appetite for such superficial reading as the drunkard has to control his appetite for intoxicating drink. This might today be connected with our publishing houses and be efficient workers to keep books, prepare copy for the press or to read proof, but their talents have been perverted until they are mental dyspeptics and consequently are unfitted for a responsible position anywhere. The imagination is deceased. They live an unreal life. They are unfitted for the practical duties of life. And that which is the most sad and discouraging is they have lost all relish for solid reading. Testimonies for the Church, Volume 5, page 518. One of the greatest reasons why we have so little disposition to draw nearer to God by prayer is you have unfitted yourself for this sacred work by reading fascinating stories which have excited the imagination and aroused unholy passions. Testimonies for the Church, Volume 1, page 504. This is Adventist Angels Watch on the Radio. Find us on YouTube, Facebook.